I've come down to South London to see my big sister who's been helping me on the project. It's been a long journey just to get to this point, like, you know, filling out forms as I told you guys, and having knockbacks and stuff for meetings I was supposed to have. The support from my sister has been really amazing. She, she doesn't have to take her time out of her busy days to see me, but she does, you know what I mean? So I'm really grateful for that, man. That's my big sister, Vanessa. She's an amazing person as well. So yeah, come, let's go. Vanessa, that's Z, Z, that's Vanessa. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Nasty weather out there, man. My name's Vanessa. What am I? Psychotherapist, wife, mom, brother to Levi, brother, sister to Levi. <laughs> Lots of things to a lot of people. The project is really interesting, quite innovative. I haven't heard of anything like it before. The fact that it's quite unique um, is good. I like the social enterprise part of it because I'm quite big on giving back and supporting people and anything you do being quite meaningful. So not just about making money or running a business, but actually about helping people and supporting people. So that aspect of it, I, I'm down with and I really, really like. But no, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm learning, you know, because I'm not a social media person, don't know much about it. Um, and I guess I'm an older person. I'm primarily, this is about youth culture. So there's that as aspect of it. Although, you know, I've always felt like a kid in my head. I always do feel like a kid in my head. I'd say that you've always been willing to do the work on yourself. And I think that's quite inspirational. You know, anything you didn't know, you were always willing to find someone, find a book, find, you know, go on the internet and find out. And there's something, you know, that's quite tenacious, you know, somebody that doesn't give up, got that kind of dogged determination. I might not know, but you know, I'm gonna educate myself and find out. And I think that's always, that's what I've observed to be your attitude. And I think that is, it's such a good attitude to have because it actually means that there's nothing that you can't learn. It means that there's nothing that you actually can't do if you put your mind to it. So I see how you've handled it as, you know, you've never been somebody who's willing to, who wasn't willing to admit that they didn't know something. And at the same time, you've always been willing to develop yourself and know that there was room for development. You know, some people think that they know it all and you've never been that person. And I think that's why you're you're at this point right now because you've always been willing to develop yourself and to find out the things that you don't know. And I think we, as with anybody having knockbacks, you know, it does knock you down for a while, but you've always got back up and you've always found a way to push through primarily by developing yourself, which is what I was talking about before. Just knowing that actually everything that happens is a lesson. You know, what can I learn? How can I make myself better so that this doesn't happen again or I'm able to overcome it? And that's what I've observed, that's what I think, that's how I think we've got through.